Hello lovelies, <laughs> T here, and I am a mess. But that's what happens when you're getting creative. <laughs> so I thought before I clean up, I'm just going to embrace the mess and share with you some of the messier pages that I completed for my Wreck This Journal. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy uh, checking out my creative messes. This is the throw something dipped in paint at the bullseye page, which happened rather spontaneously with my family. Uh, so much so that I didn't get a chance to film the process of, but it was a lot of fun. So we used uh, cotton pom-poms dipped in paint, and that was my son's color, the green. Daughter used pink, hubby used blue, and I used purple. At first we tried propping the book up and throwing, but none of the pom-poms hit the book. So instead we put the book on the ground on a tarp, and this is going to stand in for the pom-poms. We just covered the pom-poms in paint, held it up from a higher height than this, but you get the idea, and dropped. Compost this page, watch it deteriorate. The problem with that is that there's something on the back side of this page that I had already completed, so I didn't want to have to rip this page out and ruin the art on the other side to get this to compost. Plus I wasn't thrilled with the idea of composting a piece of my journal and then having to get it back out and I didn't want to deal with real dirt and ick. Yeah, because you know, I wanted to I want to keep this book. So I had to come up with a creative solution. And this is what I came up with. So what I did on this page, this is what I imagine the page would look like if I had just put it in the compost. So I've used paint and uh, a little bit of crayon to make the dirt. I drew on some worms because of course a compost bin is not complete without worms and I colored those in with crayon marker and a little bit of uh, highlighter to make them stand out a little bit. And then to add a little extra ick and texture, I used coffee grounds as like the big chunks of dirt. So I mixed some of the coffee grounds in with Mod Podge and coated this page quite heavily with the Mod Podge and coffee. And it looks fairly realistically like dirt. I think it turned out quite nice. So this would have been kind of the before. And then this is what I did for the after. I did tear this page out and I did a tea dyeing on it. So the page itself underneath is a darker brown than the sort of parchment color that it started as. Uh, I also crumbled and crumpled and crumpled it up and then laid it out and ironed it. Crumple, 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 laid it out, ironed it. I did that a whole bunch of times until the creases and wrinkles became more defined. Uh, I wasn't quite satisfied with that, so I ripped out some little holes to make it look like the worms had eaten parts of the page. I tore along the edges, again to make it sort of look like the page had been eaten. And then I used the similar painting technique over here, but with some more colors. I used sort of a reddish color to make it look like uh, I don't know, like some food waste or some decay there. There's some black, uh, some black marker, some black paint smeared on to show a little bit more decay. I even went and burnt with uh, a lighter some of the edges and colored with a brown marker. So it looks like it's been really mangled by the composter. <laughs> and then when I was done with that, I also mixed up some coffee grounds with Mod Podge before covering the whole of this side with Mod Podge. So it has a little bit of that dirt texture as well from the coffee grounds. And I have to say I am very pleased with how it turned out. I think this is a rather clever way of composting a page without actually destroying the page. Use this as a test page for pens, paints, markers, or art supplies.
not particularly creative, but very literal. I have used this to test all sorts of things. The color of a paint that I wasn't sure if it was going to be what I was looking for based on the color in the tube. There's some spots of nail polish, um, the roller stamp. This was the first time I got it. I tested to make sure that it would work on this page. Uh, different pens, there's some more pens, some more pens, and then there's some paint. Um, these are from this one and this one are from stained glass paint kits and we were testing to make sure that they um, would work, that the texture was good. There's a highlighter that I had found, wasn't sure if it still worked some crayons. Most of this though is um, marker. Being the mom of young children, we have a large collection of markers, many of which do not always have <laughs> their caps on. So I periodically go through our marker collection and would just draw little swatches and if the color was still saturated, back into the bin the marker would go, and if things looked like they were hurting a little bit or, you know, very dried up to the point of dying, those were the markers that would get chucked to hair pages. Starting with the original as it was found in the journal when I got it page, it says create a drawing using a piece or several pieces of your hair. Straightforward. I took some hair from my comb after I had finished styling my hair one day, glued it into the book, and it kind of looked like a cat. So I added some paint and Sharpie marker to make it look even more like a cat, and that's my drawing. And then on this side, this is not the original Make a Mess page. I had another plan which I tried and failed miserably at, so I nerfed that page. And then because most of the prompts in this journal have a blank page across from them. I used that opportunity to restart. So I have my make a mess, clean it up page in a different location, but it's, you know. So what I did for this one was made doll hair, basically. I was inspired by uh, some doll painters that I occasionally watch on YouTube. And this is the hair that I ended up making out of yarn, and it looks really, really cool. I like that. This is all the stuff that got pulled off that came off of this once I turned the yarn into hair. I was successful in my hair making, but it didn't make enough for what I originally wanted to use it for, and I had so much of this stuff left over, so it made it into the journal. The cast off fluffy bit, which can end up looking like the back of someone's head after they've been out in a windstorm, more like a tornado, or they've just woken up from a night of horrifying nightmares <laughs> or something. And then the clean it up side, I used what little doll hair I ended up getting. And because there was so little of it, I had to use more glue than intended to stick it down. And it ended up with like a wet look. So that's why I drew the shower and that's how we cleaned it up because this is really icky, messy hair. And this is the clean after hair. Stain log. So for this one, obviously, I decided to go with makeup swatches. So over on this side here, I've drawn various makeup brushes and applicators and sponges, a little spoolie and some busted makeup. And then over here, I have different swatches and these two rows are from the Swamp Queen Tarte Palette by Graveyard Girl. So there's all those sorts of things like gator wings, natural peaches, man cat. Those are all the colors from that palette. And then this row here and this square are from the Elf Ursula Palette. And I've got everything from the eyeliners, primer, the different face colors, and the lip color. And then down here, 
to finish off the squares, I've added some of my favorite, but not all, nail polish colors. Welcome back. What do you think? Not too bad if I do say so myself. Sometimes you just got to get right in there and get the paint everywhere <laughs> and have fun with it. And that's exactly what I did for those pages. Uh, once again, I hope that you found this entertaining and or inspiring. Thank you very much for coming along with me and humoring me as I share my experiences with you as I wreck this journal. <laughs> Hashtag not spawns. <laughs> well, I'm going to go get cleaned up and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay fabulous. Bye.